Hey guys, Chris from Propel here, and today we're gonna to be checking out the new Mustache X-Road. And this model has been completely redesigned for 2020, and it's available in many different configurations depending on what sort of specifications you're looking for and what your budget might be. They go from the Mustache X-Road 1 up to this version, which is the X-Road 7. Those different versions have different motor systems, derailleurs, suspension, but overall, the characteristics of the X-Road, it's intended to be this kind of on, off-road, do anything, go anywhere type of bike. So it's set up with relatively wide tires. They're kind of mountain bike style tires. They're not as aggressive on the tread, so it works really well on and off-road, hence the name X-Road. And it's got a suspension front fork, a hard tail, so no rear suspension, but most of the models will come with the suspension seat posts along with fenders, rack, lights, so you can do commuting with it or you wanna cut through trails, that sort of thing, really great. The geometry on the bike, it gives you a relatively upright seating position and some of the different models are available only in the standard frame size, but many of them also are available in a wave frame as well as a mixed style frame, the, the low step with the lower top tube. This one in particular is a medium standard frame and it's the X-Road 7. So let's get into more of the details on it. So historically, Mustache has always been really innovative with their designs and the way that they integrate the Bosch battery. They previously used the standard power pack and integrated it into the frame, but now they're using the new power tube. Depending on the model that you get, you get anywhere from the 400 watt hour to this one has the 625 watt hour. And the way they do that, they add this little adapter to the smaller size battery. And if you wanted to, you could potentially upgrade to that larger battery and some of the models that come with the smaller one, like the X-Road 2 or the X-Road 5. Other details, they have the new Generation 4 CX motor on the X-Road 7 and the X-Road 1 has Active Line Plus, X-Road 2 and 5 have the new Generation 3 performance line. So they're bringing all the newest technology and giving you a lot of variety to meet different people's price points. For the wheels on the X-Road, we have a 27.5. It's a double wall aluminum rim, pretty heavy duty with the through axle up front on this one. Um, some of the models you might have a standard quick release uh, front axle but they all have the same Hutchinson Python tires. And these are 27.5 by 2.1. And the tread on them, it's got a relatively aggressive side tread, but the center is not as aggressive. So it performs really well on the street and off-road as well. I think this bike is really great for people that want that all round sort of riding style. These tires also have a good amount of puncture protection. It is possible to set them up tubeless, which is a nice option if you're riding off-road more often or you wanna uh, go that route. And the pressure on these will go from 29 to 58 PSI. So you have a pretty good variance there if you wanted to run them at a lower pressure for a little bit more comfort and a little bit more traction or if you wanna pump them up all the way and really get to that most efficient range there. All of the Mustache X-Roads are gonna have these double wall aluminum fenders, really heavy duty, and, and from my experience, some of the nicest fenders in the market. So all of the X-Roads are gonna have a Shimano derailleur. This particular one is the X-Road 7, and it's gonna have the Shimano XT 11 speed. The entry level is gonna have a nine speed derailleur and have some variance in between there but all of them perform really well, but I particularly appreciate the quality on this one. For the motors on these bikes, they're all gonna have the generation three on the X-Road one, two, and five models. And the X-Road seven is gonna have the generation four Bosch motor system. We'll check out the motor a little bit more on this one, but I wanted to show on this side, you can see this really nice chain guard they have set up here. So it's really great if you're using this bike for commuting and you really wanna keep your pants clean, that sort of thing. But I think they do a really great job at paying attention to these little details and making sure that you're gonna have a great experience on the bike. 
this new generation three and four motor, it has the larger chain ring, so it's pretty much hidden behind here. From this side, you can hardly tell that it's electric, but let's check out the motor on the other side. Previously, they used a reduction gear in the motor, but by removing that, they're able to lower the weight, the size, and improve the way the motor functions without power. When you ride this bike without power, there's practically no resistance at all, which is really nice. So it really functions similar to a normal bike when riding without power. I should explain the way that the motor system works. It uses a technology called pedal assist. So basically you just pedal the bike and it provides assistance. You don't have to fuss with the throttle or anything like that. You just ride it like a normal bike and you just kind of feel stronger than you are. The bike can give anywhere between 50% and upwards of 300% assistance. This motor has the highest amount of torque at 75 Newton meters. The entry version, the X-Road 1 has 50 Newton meters of torque and the X-Road 2 and 5 have the performance line motor that has 65 Newton meters of torque. So if you have very large hills, you might want to consider opting for the X-Road 2, 5, or 7 to give you that extra bit of power. The motor works based on three different sensors. Inside the motor, it has one sensor that senses how fast you're pedaling, another that senses how hard you're pedaling, and then on the rear wheel, there's a sensor that senses how fast the bike is going overall. Based on all this information, it amplifies what you put into it. And it works really seamlessly. And from my experience, it's really the best performing motor on the market. This one's the X-Road 7 with the Bosch PowerTube 625 watt hour battery. And you can charge the battery on the bike with this port here, but you can also remove the battery and charge it off the bike. The different versions have different batteries. The X-Road 1 has a standard power pack. The X-Road 2 has a 400 watt hour battery, but the X-Road 5 has the 625 just like this. You can put the 625 in the X-Road 2 as well if you wanted to potentially upgrade. The rear rack is also upgraded for this year. Now they're using the MIK attachment system which is a really nice setup. So you have all sorts of different bags and baskets that can attach to this, or you can use the adapter plate and attach your own bag or basket. You also have these QL3 Ortlieb attachment points on the sides, but you can use a standard pannier if you wanted to and just remove these. But this is nice if you wanted to use that system that's really flat on the background, you don't have the hooks on the side of the bag. For the saddle on here, we have the Cell Royale Shadow Plus and it's a relatively sporty saddle. You're gonna find this sa same saddle on most of their X-Road versions. And this one has a suspension seat post, so you get some added comfort there. It's somewhat adjustable. It's also really nice that they added this frame lock. It has the same key as the battery, and you can also attach a chain to this if you wanted to add to the security and attach it to something external. It's not something I would depend on in a high risk area, but it's a nice addition in to your security package. So the displays on the X-Road are gonna vary from all the different specs, but since this is the top version, it's gonna come with the Bosch Kiox display. And to turn the display on, we just hit the power button. All the displays are gonna have similar functionality in that they'll show the assist level that you're in. By default, it'll be in off mode but as you hit the plus button, it'll change to the different assist levels. So Eco, Tour, Sport. On this particular version, as the CX motor, it has Sport can be the E-mountain bike, which is a little bit more dynamic than the standard Sport version. And then Turbo mode, which is the top level of assistance. At this level, you really don't have to work much at all to get plenty of power out of the bike. This one, it's a color display. You have the time, you have the battery percentage. On some of the more entry versions of the display, you don't have a battery percentage, you just have the different ticks that show how much battery you have. This will show you actually how much the bike is powering as well as how much you're powering the bike. The miles per hour, if you go to the right, you can see the clock, you can see the range. Right now this is showing 39 miles in turbo mode. That's a really good range out of this thing. If you go to the eco mode, you get 81 miles and that's at 95% battery life. You could probably even get more out of this depending on how efficiently you're riding. You know, we were just kind of messing around, so not riding as efficiently as I probably normally would be. But it's really nice to see 
what that 625 watt hour battery is capable of. You have the trip distance, trip time. You can reset this by going into the settings. This is a nice display that you can show your power and your cadence. So if you really wanna focus on your fitness that way, that's a good way to do it. You see average speed, max speed. This display can show more of the items all in one. You can also connect a heart rate monitor. That's unique to the Kiox display, which is a really nice function. You have how many calories you burned as well as the total distance. Here you can get into the settings and you can really dig in deep. I'm not gonna get into this. We have a separate video about the Kiox display, but you can just see some of the details. One of the nice things I should call out though, you could connect it to your phone and you can store all of your fitness data. The last detail I wanna show is the lights and you can turn them on and off with this little button here. So all the X-Road models are gonna have Shimano hydraulic disc brakes which really give plenty of stopping power. And they're all gonna have these nice swept back handlebars and these ergonomic grips. So I really appreciate the attention to detail there. And this one set up with the SLX shifter. As I said before, the different versions will have different shifters and derailleurs on them, but it's all Shimano components and good quality stuff. And you know, for safety, we also have the little bell. And down below we have the Shimano hydraulic calipers set up with 180 millimeter rotors. I should also mention that the X-Road is now available as the X-Road FS, which is the full suspension version. And if you're looking for a bike with a little bit of added comfort and more traction, you might want to consider that option. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The X-Road has always been a really popular bike in the shop. And with these new options, I'm sure it's going to be even more popular this year, especially with that open frame. I think a lot of people really appreciate having that ability to step in and out of the bike really easily. If you have any questions about this bike or e-bikes in general, just reach out to us. We're always happy to help or leave a comment below if you have any experience with this bike or any questions. And we look forward to seeing you in the future. Well, see you soon.